Hello, everyone. Uh, next slide, please, actually. My name is uh, Jakob Attila, and I am representing Elomatic uh, Visu. And today, I will be talking about industrial XR solutions, or uh, next slide. Uh, more specifically, the relation between virtualization and digitalization. Now, the what is this uh, about? So what are what do I mean with virtualization and virtual uh, uh, applications? It's mostly about three D and uh, using those three D assets to create interactive applications for different use cases. Now you can have a, a virtual solution that involves a single uh, use case, or you can have uh, this kind of whole uh, virtualization. A concept that aims to create more and more of these virtual applications, creating a virtual twin of an industrial machine as opposite to, to a digital twin. Now, digitalization, digital twins have been on the works for uh, 30 years, but there's a uh, like new dawn of, of 3D and, and virtual solutions is, is just beginning, accelerated with these XR. Uh, solutions that we are using in new hardware. And that's kind of something I would like to explore with you today uh, in this speech. Next slide, please. Now, uh, shortly about Elomatic and, and Elomatic Visu. Visu. Um, Elomatic is a engineering design, industrial planning, technical consulting company, uh, already over 50 years old. And one thing I want to highlight about Elomatic uh, is that uh, we've been uh, Ariello and, and Oli Munner has been pioneers uh, in 3D CAD design, bringing 3D again topic of the day uh, into uh, engineer design. And that kind of uh, gives us the resources to work with today, and it's an interesting story because that happened during a time and PCs and desktop computers were a completely new thing, which easily connects to what we're experiencing now with ER and AR devices. Next slide, please. A bit more about uh, Elomatic Visu. We are our competency units within Elomatic with uh, a mission to create 3D visualizations and 3D communication and XR solutions to communicate better and in more or in depth. Next slide, please. Uh, we do these visualization or virtualization uh, solutions uh, throughout uh, products life cycle. We can, it, these uh, solutions, 3D, uh, the informative communication uh, aspects of it can be used in Early on in planning and design reviews in in uh, uh, assembly or uh, in product communication, kind of digging into the operating principles of a product, uh, creating concept or in training, <clears throat> which will I will uh, present a use case of uh, in a tiny bit. Next slide, please. Mm. As a part of Elomatic, uh, Visu has this, this unique position of being a small, agile team uh, with a huge uh, amount of technical resources and, and competency in our back pocket. Next slide. Please. And with that combination, we are in a unique position to, to create this kind of energy. We have uh, Elomatic, a huge corporation with their uh, ISO quality certified processes and, and technical content, technical knowledge to uh, kind of base the uh, visual and, and virtual uh, content that, that Visu can then provide using various presentations and technologies like uh, 3D animations or uh, XR. Next slide, please. Now, into the topic of, of digitalization versus uh, virtualization. And of, as said, uh, these digital, huge amounts of digital information and data 
in the industrial context that has been uh, in the works for quite a while. And it looks uh, something like this. A control room with various screens, with really uh, kind of raw data or uh, information being analyzed by experts. Now, the way I see it, this is a context where you really need to know what you're doing with that information to understand it in depth. Next slide, please. When you have that uh, expertise, you can use digital information in a various ways. You can uh, get a manage better your production, your production lines, the industrial machinery you have. You can monitor, uh, get data, analyze that data, and act accordingly to improve your operations, to help avoid errors, have predictive maintenance, or just uh, overall an improved uh, operations and quality, resource efficiency, sustainability. Now, <clears throat> uh, there's a lot to gain from digital, uh, digitalization and an industrial internet, as, as they call it, uh, overall, to, to really manage these uh, production lines better. Uh, but the one point, one kind of recognized possible uh, kind of weak point with this uh, kind of tidal wave of digital information is how to, how can, different stakeholders with different uh, needs kind of connect with this huge amount of digital information. And that access of information, that knowledge transfer, uh, transfer is really where uh, 3D comes in. Next slide, please. The digital twin is supposed to represent a physical machine. And this, is what, uh, this is uh, what it should be uh, telling a story about. Now, when compared to that control room picture with all those screens, this is a lot more clear on, on what is the information about. 3D brings information into context. Here you can see the Volumet virtual mill model that we have created in, uh, with uh, Elematic Visu team to really create that base for those virtual solutions around this paper and broad uh, board production line. And we'll explore some of the possibilities with that uh, next, although after we see the uh, virtual video. Next slide, please. And I believe you can start. Training is an essential part of Valmet's long-term customer relations. We want to ensure our customers get the most out of their equipment, systems, and processes. We're constantly looking for ways to make knowledge transfer more efficient because the success of a board and paper producer depends not only on the quality of the technology they use, but the level of their employees' competence. The Valmet Virtual Mill is an interactive virtual training environment, and it is part of Valmet's learning services and industrial internet offering. The virtual mill is a digital design twin of the customer's machinery and surrounding facilities. It can be used for training operators and maintenance workers before both the initial startup and major shutdowns. Using a virtual reality headset and controllers, trainees enter a 360 degree learning environment and move about freely in a 3D virtual setting, interacting with simulated machinery to learn more about the process and the equipment. A clear main menu helps trainees negotiate the virtual mill. It provides a map, information about processes, and access to virtual training modules. Hotspots provide in-depth information about the process and equipment. Detailed learning materials, such as images, videos, and user manuals, are easily accessible and help trainees learn in an engaging way. The virtual training modules are lifelike training scenarios in which trainees learn how to perform maintenance actions. For example, this allows users not only to see but also to interact with the virtual world. They can explore the topic at hand and see how things are put together in a safe environment.
It's actually okay. We can uh, move on. That's uh, works. Is there a issue on my end or that for? Put your hands up if you can hear me. <laughs> yes, yeah. uh, we can hear you. Yeah, I'll actually, uh, I assume the, the, the video froze for everyone. Uh, so I'll just uh, a recap kind of what was that about, the uh, Valmet virtual mill. Um, I hope you got a better uh, idea of, of what I was talking about with the virtual solutions. Uh, that is an example, the 3D environment where you can learn the operations of the uh, production line you can dive deep into detailed information and and really uh, leverage that immersive technology in in learning and training as well now in the beginning of the video you mentioned that that this is uh, important for the volume customer from the end user to to really utilize technology by supporting competency of the workers I see that to achieve that, you need to have that technology uh, packaged in a comprehensible way and delivered to the end users all the way, not just to the control rooms where the analysts and the experts are, but to the field. There are the field workers that uh, com comprises the most of the industrial uh, workers where they can utilize the information. And these kind of 3D models they help deliver that information into the wheel field. Another thing I would like to highlight here is, is how how uh, Elamatic Visu was uh, able to be so successful with Valmet because we have uh, such access to uh, detailed technical information through Elamatic, which uh, was a key success factor in this project. Next slide, please. Now. You've seen uh, what I mean with the virtual solution, with the virtual mill uh, training uh, aspect. Uh, another use case might uh, sense another uh, solution of, of using that virtual mill in sales and marketing, kind of walking through with the uh, customer on, on how does the plant work. And uh, even connecting that in the future, connecting that, that uh, virtual twin to uh, digital, uh, the digital twin to contextualize uh, information. Now, virtualization, what kind of benefit can it bring? It's, it's uh, contextualizing the information and building this uh, shared understanding with the people that interact with that 3D information. And uh, that kind of provides access to even complicated information to a lot more stakeholders that can could find it useful. Gotta get the next slide, please. Not sure. I hope I uh, do believe the the issue might be on my end. I apologize for that. Um, uh, it has uh, well, it seems to be an internet connection issue. I'm not sure what you're uh, seeing at the moment, uh, but I'll uh, just uh, <laughs> carry on talking nonetheless because time is limited and I still have uh, lots to say. Um, virtualization to build that uh, shared understanding in different uh, application areas. And I showed you the whole product lifecycle from planning to products to training. And uh, we at Visu believe that there are indeed uh, uh, different application areas where you can get a lot more uh, of different benefits. In planning, you can avoid errors to, to build shared understanding between uh, decision makers, uh, both the customer and the, the uh, sales personnel or, or the, the engineers planning the, the uh, setup of a production line. Uh, you can use this in assembly using a yard to bring the information into uh, simple processes or in training if you want to do that training beforehand. Now uh, that kind of brings me to the different technologies where AR and VR are of course uh, uh, very uh, 
a passion of mine personally as well as the least. And VR enables you to go through this information beforehand, while AR lets you bring that information to the field in 3D form, which is comprehensible to everyone, pretty much everyone, when used in an immersive way. Now, I would hi highlight that, that immersion there as well, uh, well a bit, because I believe that uh, 3D uh, content from a 2D screen is not really uh, what it's meant to be, and some people might not even be able to understand 3D information in the same level that, uh, in level that, that is uh, beneficial. But yes, those uh, different technologies and diff uh, different technologies uh, combined with different application areas, different use cases, kind of create different benefits. You can use AR, uh, VR, or mobile desktop applications to kind of uh, connect to the, the 3D model. That uh, next slide, please, kind of brings me to the Elomatic Visu virtual pipeline that we are uh, so working on. The, the, the kind of concept of, of if you have a 3D model, you can connect uh, different uh, solutions into that and really use that same raw ingredients to, to solve uh, more and more issues in your business uh, and industry. Next slide, please. Go through these pretty quickly. As you can see, it's a kind of a cube where in the middle you have the 3D model. And on one side, visualization services, animations, and pictures. Next slide, slide please. You can use uh, make uh, prototypes or uh, virtual twins or digital twins uh, when you combine the digital information with the virtual uh, model. Uh, next slide, please. One use case that is unbelievably great, in addition to tra uh, training in VR, is end user uh, feedback gathering. Uh, with uh, mockups uh, of, of, for example, as you can hear, uh, see here, uh, chip happen, or, uh, for example, one of those control rooms where that digital information is supposed to be displayed in. Uh, next slide, please. Or uh, training uh, materials, the whole virtual mail that you can use uh, to, to gain an understanding of the operation principles in an interactive way where you can just really walk around uh, the whole uh, huge machinery. Next slide, please. Or by AR, by taking that information with you on the field. This is all connected to that one 3D model that then provides value throughout a life uh, cycle of a product and uh, really creates new potential. Taking into account that there are thousands of hours of, of technical work and engineering design put to those models beforehand, that usually when you have the physical uh, solution, it's just thrown away. And that is also key on, on, that is value destruction right there. And these 3D models and the applications kind of let us uh, kind of get into that, that value that is already there. Next slide, please. And we'll be continuing to work on this. Next slide, please. And we'll wrap this up. Uh, my name is Jakob Matila. Feel free to connect with me in LinkedIn or contact me. I will be in the Elomatic Visu space after this speech. Do, do uh, uh, visit us uh, there and let's talk more. Next slide, please. And thank you.